Hello everybody and welcome back to our MTG set explorations and in this episode we're doing something significantly different. We are going to be exploring a, a commander set, commander. specifically the latest commander set, Commander 2019. Commander 2019. Now, as the viewers can see, I have decided to go for a gruel and artifact route, which is terrible because I've done exactly one draw test with this, and uh, I am not prepared for this, even though I'm the one that picked this out. Well, you should be... I knew I hmm. wanted to do a commander set. I, I didn't know, figure out what I, what commander set I wanted to do until about last week, and then uh, and then I got distracted by other video games. You should be glad that despite your distractions that you picked a color combination that's actually conducive to your success in a set that provides you with the lands that you need to actually successfully run Gruel. Whereas I uh, did not run a set that was supported by dual lands. I ran black and white. Ah, so you're running Orzov. I'm running Orzov for some reason. Okay. Well, that's because a lot of the uh, a lot of the uh, better removal and uh, and more fun creatures to use are in Orzhov in this set, <laughs> at least from what I saw. Anyway, are we ready, Mr. Cloud? Yes. Let us. Let us begin. Storm. Explore. Confuse. Thro uh, I will nine. throw a twenty-sided dice at you. Dang it! All right. Ow! All right. I will go first. Bastard throwing dice at me. Uh, first strike. Um, Mulligan. Keep. I yeah, I'm gonna have to mulligan too. Damn. Um. Ah, oh, crap. This I can keep. Okay, let's then. just fucking. No, but that's a. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm gonna put this card on the bottom of my library and be satisfied. Hmm. Honestly, I shouldn't keep this now, but I'm going to yeah. disrupt my microphone while I correct my posture. Now I feel like I'm holding a dual disc. This is excellent. Do your worst. Alright, I shall. Uh, let's see. Let's go with Kazandu Refuge in order to gain one life. You see? Dual lands. Palette swaps. Because one thing I realized about Commander is that you have to have lots of cards that do about the same things, but their names have to be different. Um, I'm going to put it on a swamp, and I'm going to tap it to cast the Sanitarium Skeleton. Ooh. One, two. And he's got Recursion for three. Mm. Alright, let's put down a Naya Panorama, and then pay one and tap it and sacrifice it. To put down forest, forest, forest. I uh, know we're gonna put down a basic mountain, and it comes in tapped, right? Um, yes. All right, I will end. Can't stop or take me to the shindig. Well, Wobble says I'm gonna win big. Choose not the life of imitation. Well, to be the designation. Uh, I am gonna put down. Uh, thinking. Uh, I'm going to put down Bajookabog. Okay. When Bajookabog enters the battlefield, exile all cards from target player's graveyard. That target is, of course, Mr. Gurdat. Oh, no. My land that I didn't want to play. Attack with the one, two skeleton. <laughs> Arrgh! This is a very so for dramatic those of you explanation. that are unfamiliar with the way that commander normally works is that we're supposed to have a hundred card decks and, and a commander. Um... Uh, a legendary creature on the outset that we have the ability to cast. Yes. I uh, We decided not to do that, uh, although we are both still running Highlander. Um, the whole reason being is that uh, Commander specifically is Ooh. designed for uh, for multiplayer games. Rap. And, well... We're, we're, it's just the two of us, and we don't want to. Um, we don't really have other players that we can drag into Cockatrice. Plus, I don't think Cockatrice actually supports a commander that well. Right. I. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it does actually allow you to uh, move ah, you, uh, your commander Wait over to the sideboard. But Wait a minute. Um, and this is actually looking pretty good. I'm going to put down Memorial to Folly, um, and his mouth will tapped, and then I'm going to swing at you with my one two. All right. I'll take another one. All right, so theoretically, Gerdad should take the lead because he has lots of mana right now. Oh, I have lots of mana and um, absolutely nothing to cast with it. All right. Dramatically, I do not know this. One, two, three, four. Wait, why the fuck are you running Rectos like it? Ah, the Thran Dynamo. Uh -huh. I took one look at this card and said, damn, I can't believe I'm holding a copy of it and it's mine. I am going to put down a Gargoyle Castle. Ooh. 
And I'm going to tap it to add Carlos to my man pool. Three others to catch my own friend wow, Dynamo. Dynamo. And I'm going to use it. Tap three. Add three colorless. I am going to morph this card. Put this card face down as a 2-2 two -two creature. Okay. And then it's going for one. All right. I'll take one. I'm winning. Mm. Well, yes. Yes, you are. All right, I'm going to put down a Rugged Highlands to gain another life. And then I'll tap seven. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Good, I didn't think you were going to cast take... Meteor Golem. Right, right. And use Meteor Golem's effect to destroy your Thran Dynamo. Oi! My power! My engines! My money! Dang it! <laughs> that, 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 ow! You mean now I have to wait? Um... What does this do again? Oh, cre maybe? No, I don't have enough mana for that. Um, let's try. Uh, yeah. Power. Cool. I'm going to spend three mana to morph this creature now. This creature is a 2-2. Two -two. Okay. Uh, fuck. Now I'm going to end my turn. All right. Okay, then I'm going to put down a forest, and then I'll pay three. Oh, shit's about to get real. morph my own creature. Jesus. Mm. Mysteries. Hmm. I did that wrong. <laughs> yeah, I did that wrong. All right, I will end. Very nice. Oh, but he's not going to attack, even though his meteor golem has a 66.667% chance of scratching his balls. Uh... All right, so here's what's going down now, he said, is I am going to pay three, and I am going to Megamorph my face down, Asylum Gar Assassin. All right. When Asylum Gar Assassin is turned face up, he Megamorphs, so he gets a plus one, plus one counter, but that's not all. When he's turned face up, destroy target creature with power three or less and opponent controls, and that creature is going to be your 3-3 three, three Meteor Golem. Okay, then. Uh, going into my combat step now, I'm going to swing to you with everything I got. A one, mm. a two, and a three. All right. Um, in response, yeah, it's a mana ability, so I'll pay a green, uh, four, and five. What the fuck? Uh, on attach. And to to uh to morph my Deathmiss Raptor. Deathmiss Raptor, Mega Morph. He gets a plus one plus one counter, making him a four four. And you're gonna block him. Okay. Uh, yep. this guy is now dead, and you're about to see who it was. Kind of. It was my bane of the living. Ooh. All right, and I take four. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to end my turn. Sorry, but okay, I, I, I passed to you by mistake. We have routines here at Rocket Rabbit Commentaries. Okay, then. Uh, I don't have any tokens, sadly, but I think I'm all right. Tokens, 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 tokens. Talking about some... All right, I'm gonna so... Make some, I'm gonna make some, let's tokens, see. Tokens, tokens. I want to pay... Yeah, I want to pay four. One. Draw two, three, two four, cards. Five. Six. What? For oh, Gears Jesus. Belligerence. Gears Belligerence deals X. Oh, crap. Mm. And I'm going to two damage to each of those. Deals. Hey, it's divided. At, at, what, okay, so you pay two. So how much did you pay? I paid, paid six I paid altogether. Six with, so that's with two to cast. Four. And a number of target creatures. Uh. One, two, three, four. Very good, sir. Okay, my, my dudes are dead. Unfortunately, I'm supposed to wait until I have a token for that, because then tokens, I would have been able to create three tokens, tokens off of that, tokens. which would have been nuts. But I decided not to. Here, have four damage. Dang. And yet, somehow, I still have the lead. Mm. All right. And with that, I will end. All right, well, thankfully, that Rakdos locket you got there is going to help you replenish your supplies. You're going to need them now, because I got a little answer for your sass right there. Uh, I am going to pay a swamp and a castle 
to cast the murderous compulsion, murder him because he left himself tapped. And then I am going to pay Thwaya to morph this creature face down as a 2-2. Mm -hmm. Ending turn. There's a lot of morph in this set. <laughs> I like that at least at this point we have a proper token to designate the morph creature. Mm, Alright, so I'm going to pay 2 green in order to cast Explore. Oh shit. Explore? You may play an additional land this turn, draw a card. <laughs> okay. Um, and then... Trying to see... Do I have... Yeah, I'm going to put pay three, four, five in order to cast this face down. Wait, why does it cost, why does it cost five to put face down? You're right, it doesn't. My bad. <laughs> so I'll pay three. Yeah, that'll work. That's the one thing that's been consistent across all morphs is that it usually it usually always costs three to put a face down. <laughs> all right, I will end. Coolness. All right. Um, I need more power though because you freaking destroyed a very important card. <laughs> um, yeah, I still don't have. Oh wait, no, I do. Ah, beautiful. I am going to pay five, and I am going to morph my face-down card. It was the Skin Thinner. Okay. When Skin Thinner is turned face up for five, destroy target non-black creature. It can't be regenerated. Mm, curses. But well, let me see here. All right, in response, I'm going to spend five mana. Uh, on attach. And order two... Uh, turn over my Hooded Hydra. Hooded Hydra? And it's a battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. Roop. Create an X. Create a 1-1 one, one green snake creature token for each 1-1 one, one counter on it. Right, As so, it is turned uh, face up, put 5 plus <laughs> Jesus, really? <laughs> yes. That is awesome. So. Holy Roop. shit. All right. Well, don't don't we have a little situation here because I'm out of mana. I have to end my turn staring down five one ones. <laughs> uh, and, a, and a and a face down raptor. What? Because I did that uh, from my grave. What are you talking about? Well, mm, uh, I will show you um, because I have a forest. Ahem. One, two, three, four, five. Turn over, megamorph. Wait. Whenever a permanent you control is turned face up, you may return. To the battlefield face up or face down. Wow. Okay, mm -hmm. so now you got a 4-4. Four, four. And because it appeared during my last combat step, it can attack this turn. <laughs> yep. So I'm gonna swing out for I'm gonna swing out for nine. Swing out for nine, he said. Interessante. Alright, uh I really gotta think about this. because uh, if I do not draw mana during my next turn, that is gonna be very bad. Uh what's in my graveyard right now? Uh, that's in my graveyard. Um, I think I can... Alright, I am going to blog with my zombie. With this fucking arrow, one of your snakes is now dead. Okay, then. And then I take... Um... I take eight okay. damage, so I'm down to eight. Okay. Move these back over there. They look better. <laughs> snake people, snake right. people. And, uh, with that, I will end.